Hi y'all. Hi y'all. Sounds so southern. What about Dedekeik? It means hello all in Estonian, which my family happens to be. It's gender neutral too, because Estonians have no sex and no future. I like it. So, Dedekeik. My name is Annika and I am on a mission to ski all of the ski hills in North America. In today's video, I will show you the day that I had with family at my second ski hill, Magic Mountain. Let's get it going. I hope we don't commercialize the essence of skiing. There's nothing that will clear the cobwebs like a good run. You are your own challenger. Hans Thorner bought private property on Glebe Mountain in Londonderry, Vermont, which was formerly known as Abenakilin. He opened Magic Mountain on December 23rd, 1960, with just a T-bar that gave access to only 500 feet. Over the years, it grew, incorporating the Timber Ridge Ski Area to the east in 1986. It now has 1,500 foot vertical over 139 acres. The three lifts and three carpets give access to 39 different runs. Now Magic Mountain has a lot of really interesting history, but there's only three things that I wanted to get into. Thorner had the slopes mowed by sheep in the off-season. Craziest thing is, over Magic Mountain's history, there have been a few aircraft crashes. First, there was a helicopter crash in 1962 during the construction of a new lift. The Sikorsky S-58 helicopter, which was used to pour concrete for the towers, got caught up in the lines and crashed into the lift, catching fire. Thankfully, the pilot, Frank Minjoy, survived. Then, in 1973, a Cessna 310 crashed into the mountainside, killing both pilot and passenger. And then, we're not done yet. In 1975, two fighter jets collided at 20,000 feet, and both crews safely landed on Magic Summit. And last but not least, in 2003, James Smith crashed above the trail wizard and survived. <laughs> like, what is causing all of these crashes specifically on this mountain? I wish I had done my research beforehand, because supposedly you can go and find the aircraft wreckage within the glades. So cool. And most recently, Magic Mountain hired Bobby Johnson as their ski school director, making him the first black ski schools director in Vermont's history. There's been a few incredible articles about him in the last few months, including Powder's last issue. My parents and I went to Magic Mountain during President's Day weekend to meet up with some family. The drive was short, felt even shorter because I wasn't doing it. And we arrived before opening and got ready in the cozy lodge. The day was so cold and you could hear it in the way that the snow squeaked as you walked across it. Most of the first ride up was still in the mountain shadow, but the moment we crested the ridge, it was a whole new world. Oh, it's so pretty! Like that? Like this? Like this? Let's do a cruiser just to make sure everything's uh, working. <laughs> Oh, 
Which one do you want to do now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Red? I want to warm up my toes. Oh. We'll go do it again. One more red, and then, yeah. okay. I love seeing kids out in the mountain. It's the next generation learning this thrilling sport so that they can bring light to their cold and dark winters. That's bad for the following. <laughs> it's like, yeah, not bad for the <laughs> I did have a lot of fun though, even when my feet were seizing in pain. <laughs> I also love getting to talk to other skiers and riders in the lodge and on the lifts. I honestly love to just interview people. I wanted to say a big thank you to my family. I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. Not just Magic Mountain, not just today, but all my days. I used to be the lodge dad, always said, son of a bitch. Take stuff up to work on. I'd run up to the top of the mountain. Look what it created. We created a monster! Magic Mountain kind of shocked me. It was a lot bigger than I was thinking. The runs were really, really nice, even if it's a little bit icy for me. And while I'm not going to be raiding ski hills, I would definitely say I had an amazing time at Magic Mountain. That's two down and a lot more to go. <laughs> So that's everything from last season, and now all I have to do is wait for the snow to start falling out east here and for an ankle injury to heal up, and then I'm back on the skis and I'll be making videos. But I've thought about maybe making something ski-related with gear or something, so if you want any of that, please let me know. Any suggestions would be very helpful. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below where you'd like me to go next. Give it a like, maybe a subscribe if you want to continue on my journey with me. And yeah.
vždycky. Okay. I don't know. 